So without further ado, I would like to share with you some of the positive things that has happened to me in 2020. Let's start with the obvious one. I started my YouTube channel. I went indoor skydiving, which was so much fun, but it was quite hard. <laughs> I started my Facebook page where I post daily content. It's really funny, you should check it out. I got my very first brand deal as a social media influencer and with it, my very first tattoo. This tattoo is a Japanese symbol that means strength, which is a very important value for me and not necessarily physical strength only, but also mental strength. I hiked cliffs and jumped off those cliffs. I started streaming on Twitch for a little while in 2020, but I'll be back with more in 2021. I graduated my second and third semesters of marketing economics and now only have six months left to go. I launched a clothing brand slash merch line called Will Fashion. I'm actually wearing some of it right now, although this one is not released yet so shh. If you want to get yourself some and support what I do go to patrickwill.store or find the link in the description. I am so proud of this clothing so far. I ate M&Ms off of a treadmill. This was actually just before the pandemic but nonetheless that was pretty gross. My friend poured a bucket of ketchup on me. I met my videographer and friend Rinaldo, who's my freaking boy. I started a second YouTube channel where I post the gaming content that I do on Twitch. I did a handstand on the Great Wall of China. My Instagram account got banned for some reason, so I had to create a second one, although there are some pretty sick posts that I've made in 2020 on that one. I got some more viral moments on TikTok, and we hit the big 100,000 followers on there. Thank you guys for that one. I learned how to tie my shoes with just one hand. I also started a Twitter where you can keep up with all the weird things that are going on in my life. My overall content has improved tremendously. And I'm so excited for the insane content that is going to come in 2021. And last but definitely not least, I've made so much progress towards overcoming anxiety and working on my mental health. I am so happy to say that today I'm on my way to a really, really good spot in my life. 